All right, uh, Matt, we we're going to do a story about Uber who will now deliver Christmas presents as long as they're under $200 and under 30 pounds. Okay. So your weather word is delivery. Delivery. Yeah. Oh, we can get that in that. the forecast. Say that probably three times the forecast on average, so that's <laughs> great. All right, we'll get that in the forecast, Jay. Temperatures right now, boy, was it nice to see the sunshine in spots today? Some of us had clear blue skies. You got out of the snow belt. But temperatures didn't really respond very nicely, did they? We're just above freezing right now, mid 30s for most of us. But you factor in the wind, which has been uh, breezy as we've gone throughout the afternoon. It feels more like the 20s for your evening out. So yes, you need to bundle up. And yes, it's early December. So I'm pretty sure you're doing that anyway. But look out towards the west. We've got real warm air stretching all the way up towards the Dakotas. That is underneath a ridge, which is heading our way. You can see where that mild air is, everything going up and over it. The problem is we're still on the periphery of that. So we had the clipper system that moved through yesterday. We've got yet another little clipper system that's going to skirt through tonight into tomorrow, keeping the clouds and really keeping that warmer air at bay, at least for another day. I'll show you what I mean here. National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. So we go throughout the overnight, fairly quiet, still a couple flurries out east. You had that last night as well. I uh, can't rule out a little bit of flurry action, especially out in Ashtabula County. Tomorrow morning, we're mainly cloudy. This is that clipper clipping us tomorrow morning and notice how we may have uh, maybe a sprinkle or a snow shower tomorrow morning. Best chances again would be out towards the east, but by noon this is where the changes start. Notice the sunshine breaking out from southwest to northeast. We're going to go full on sunny before sunset tomorrow. Temperatures not bad either. We should make it into the 40s tomorrow afternoon and that'll be a nice springboard for warmer temperatures as we get in into our Friday. All of this hinging on this atmospheric river event we've seen out towards the west. You see the area of low pressure in this area of energy pushing in now. So we're going to cut off the rain for areas of Washington and Oregon for the first time in days, and we're going to boost those temperatures in the eastern half of the country. So we're talking 50s on Friday, well into the 50s Saturday. Problem here is, though, that we have some rain coming our way as we get into the weekend. So as we look at the weekend, we're in the 50s with showers developing on Saturday, and then Sunday we're changing rain over to wet snow. And I just caught this video. This looks really dramatic. I don't know what's happening with that pipe with the water coming out, but either way, uh, not looking too good there. All right, big picture across the country. This is how it comes together. Notice how we start to deal with showers Saturday. Sunday, we get the rain early, and what happens is this system heads off towards the north and really strengthens, but the cold air or the delivery of the cold air isn't in tune with the moisture. So we're not going to see a ton of snow with this. However, as it heads out towards the east, the latest Euro has real heavy snow just out towards our east as that cold air finally catches up. Either way, I think we get some wet snow at the end of all this. Does that happen during the Browns game when we see the transition? Boy, Sunday's weather looks interesting. Your Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast. There's that transition on Sunday from rain to snow, dropping temperatures with leftover lake effect on Monday.